In early 2016, there were only two members of the United States Senate in Washington that supported Donald Trump for president. And you're looking at one of them right here. <laughs> Guys, the eyes of America, and I would argue the eyes of the world, are on us right now. Look, I fought with President Trump to get elected. I fought alongside him to get this agenda done. And I'm still fighting alongside of him to make sure he finally gets a fair accounting in this state, right? But my job right now, and Kelly's job, in addition to that, is to make darn sure that we do not give up these two seats in Georgia to Chuck Schumer. The eyes of America are indeed on us. The eyes of future generations are on us. But you don't have to listen to me at what to, to learn what's at stake. Just listen to Chuck Schumer. Chuck said, take Georgia and change America. Well, we have a little message for Chuck today. We ain't ready to give Georgia up, are we? But the best, I love this the best. AOC said, oh, yeah, we have to have those two seats in Georgia because we don't want to negotiate. Really? She said, oh, yeah, we, have to want, we want the Green New Deal without compromise. And the best, really the best, is Stacey Abrams said, oh, yeah, the big blue wave is going to take over Georgia and change Georgia. The big blue wave is going to take over the South and change the South. The big blue wave is going to take over America and change America. And she said, and we're going to do it with documented and undocumented voters. Not on our watch, guys. If you listen to what Chuck Schumer has said, it tells us what's at stake. Number one, he wants to change the voting rules in the Senate so he can go to a one-party system. He wants to add D.C. and Puerto Rico's two new states, adds four Democratic seats. He wants to stack the Supreme Court. He wants to do away eventually with the Electoral College. What he's describing is a one-party system that's failed everywhere in history that has been tried. But you don't have to look at history. Just look at Venezuela today, Cuba, North Korea, Iran. How many people do you know trying to break into Venezuela right now? That's what they're trying to perpetrate on our dear, beloved America. But there's another reason. In the last four years, we have proven what we believe in as conservative really works. We pulled back on regulation. We passed a tax bill that made us competitive with the rest of the world. Guys, thanks to Donald Trump, we're energy independent today and produce more oil and gas than any other country in the world. And we saved our small banks, without which we would not have been able to help small businesses through the COVID crisis that saved a million and a half jobs right here in Georgia. But guys, don't listen to me. Don't even listen to Chuck. Listen to somebody that really was concerned about the future of America. It was decades ago when Ronald Reagan told us what was at stake right now today in 2020. He said that freedom is never more than one generation away from extinction. We don't pass it down in the bloodstream. It must be fought for, protected, and passed on. Or one day in our sunset years, we'll be telling our children and our children's children what it was once like in America were free. Ladies and gentlemen, I can't challenge us any more than Ronald Reagan did. Our moment is now. Every generation has its moment of trial. Ours is right now. What kind of America are we going to, live to our, lead to our children and our grandchildren? It's up to us right now on January the 5th. If you get out and vote early, your grandchildren will be so proud of what you did on January 5th, 2021. We have got to stand in the breach and hold the line against socialism. And thanks to you, we will win Georgia and save America. God bless you guys. Thank you.